So this is what we did today in class. This was a reward that the students earned, and I also used it to teach a scientific concept, the concept of sublimation. Sublimation is when it goes from a solid to a gas without melting into a liquid first. Um, what you'll need, if you want to do this at home, is a container. I've got a tall one because it's nice because the kids can't really put their hands down in the bottom. And you want to fill it partially full of hot water. The hotter the better. Once the water gets cold, it doesn't work as well. And some of you have probably done this before with dry ice. Dry ice at Smith's is about a dollar a pound. So it's definitely worth it, but it doesn't last very long. And you put some dry ice in the container. Yeah. Now you've probably seen this before. And um, we talk about how it's carbon dioxide re being released straight as a gas, not as a liquid or a solid. And this keeps the kids excited for a little bit. But what's really fun is to take this, we talked about what would be a fun way to trap this gas in your hand so you could actually hold it for a little bit longer. The trick is to trap the gas inside a bubble. So while this is going, just take some Dawn dish soap and pour it in. Not only does it make it kind of cool blue at the bottom, but instead of clouds coming out, you get this way cool bubble explosion, which the kids in class had a blast holding it. You talk about how cold it is, and then popping it in your hands, and it turns right back as the gas. It just releases it right out of the bubbles. Great Halloween activity, really fun with the kids. It goes on a really long time. If it stops working, um, you may be out of dry ice. You probably just need to add more hot water because once that water gets cold, the ice doesn't sublimate very well.